How's everybody doing? The topic of today's conversation is risk, reduction and elimination. And most people think of, of risk as you know something bad or negative. Humans are really, really bad at taking risk. We assess risk poorly because we have the, the fight or flight mechanism ground into our, our subconscious. So we're going to talk about risk as a tool. And uh, by the end of this video, you're going to understand it much better, how to use it as a tool and how to use the reduction and elimination techniques, um, which will help you achieve consistency. My name is Frank Bunn. I've been teaching people to reduce risk and get consistent since the Dow was around 9,000. Tells you anything. All right. So let's jump right in. The way we want to assess risk and to reduce and eliminate is, is first of all, we have to define it. And so um, we've done this before, but we take a look at, at um, we're going to take a look at a risk game to get, to get started. So in, in this box below, we have risk. So our risk is defined as X, which is going to be one R or one component of risk. And then we set up a risk game where we're going to attempt to achieve like three to five times risk or three to five R. So this is a, this is a three to one risk game with one risk being one R. Okay. So once we have defined risk, um, we're going to look at the reduction elimination techniques. Now for most people, um, there, there, there are two things, uh, there's only two ways that they'll, you're generally taught when you know you taught trading, and one is either a stop, which is an order to sell at a, a predetermined price, and the other one is to outright exit the market. Okay, these are the two known methods for reducing or eliminating risk. The problem with them, and one of the problems that a lot of people have. Um, and they, they run into is either the stop or exiting the market is a shot in the foot. And so you don't get anywhere. So with the problem, the problem with the stop is it, it creates loss of either profit or margin. Meaning if your, if your stock is moving higher and you're moving a stop underneath that, as it moves higher, that stop is hit. You're always going to lose either part of your profit or in the case of loss, outright loss. So, margin or, or, or profit. So exiting the market, what that does is that's another form of, of, of loss. Whereas now you, you forsake the opportunity for, um, for future gain. So either one of these really isn't a technique at all. It's a, uh, it's, it's a, it's a mechanism that, that people employ because they really don't understand how to observe price and how to, how to analyze price. Okay. So what we're going to take a look at with those two, um, so those are the, those are the two common ones, the stop and liquidation. But, um, we're going to look at, at the third, uh, risk reduction technique, which is what I use and is what I teach my students. And that is price rejection. And price rejection really isn't a technique at all. What it is, is just really good analysis. Okay. So let's just say, let's just say we have our, you know, we have our cycle here up move. We have a contraction in price. We establish a risk gain here of one R with an expectancy of three times risk. Okay. So, if our price point, if we can analyze price properly, okay, we should get an immediate breakout. So, so if we have, uh, if we have our entry pattern, okay, and here's our buy, we should get an immediate move, uh, outside of that. Now what happens is that's called price rejection. When price moves immediately in the direction of the trade. Now, the reason that price rejection is the most effective tool is because it really isn't a tool at all. What it is, is it's price moving away so that you no longer have, or you have less and less theoretical risk. So for example, let's say I bought Microsoft, you know, back when it was $1. Okay. Now at, you know, two or $300, I don't have any theoretical risk as long as the market is open 
or as long as I have access to the markets. Okay, so risk is theoretically eliminated the further this goes. Well, now this has everything to do with statistics. Okay, so what happens is in any statistical sample, so if we're taking a look at, at price of, of XYZ stock here, okay, and down here is where we enter, all right, and here is where the current, uh, the current price is, all right. So there's a deviations from any given mean are what the stock will do on any given day. Some people analyze as average true range. Other people look at, um, you know, average volatility, wh whatever volatility metric you use, it doesn't really matter. But after a certain point, a normal fluctuation or deviation from the mean will not return you to the risk window. Okay. That is, that is the real definition of price rejection. So when you achieve price rejection, as long as you have the market is open and that you have, you have access to it and, um, and you've, you're like one or two whatever standard deviations away from the mean currently, then you have no theoretical risk. Well, this can be achieved with proper price analysis. Okay, so by, by structuring your entries so that you get that immediate pop or if you're selling an immediate, um, immediate sell-off so that you can move from the risk window into the break-even window. And that's, that's the key. To it. So when we look at when we go back and look at our, our risk game, okay, there we have one R, here we have three times R up here, okay. But as price moves out of our risk window, okay, we're going to establish a break even, an area where we no longer have any theoretical risk because we've achieved proper price rejection. Okay, so the idea when you model this is you should be doing this at least 80 to 85 percent of the time using price rejection um, and as your primary risk elimination tool after which then you can employ stops and liquidation when it makes when it makes much more sense. Okay, doing one of these two while you're at or around the risk window is a real easy way to, to prevent consistency, okay, because of, uh, because of random fluctuations in price at and around uh, the risk window. Okay, so that's absolutely it. Uh, risk as a tool. So using risk and the size of your risk as a tool and also price rejection as the primary reduction and elimination technique will get you much further ahead than a lot of your competitors. Very few people know this or even aware of it, and they certainly can't employ it. What you do need to do is you have to know how to trade so that your low risk entries are very, very effective price points that get you an immediate move in the direction of profitability. So if you wanna learn how to do that, I teach it to people all the time. Below this video, uh, you'll find access to my free training. And there you can find out more about how to learn how to trade for consistency and consistent profit. So thank you very much and have a good day.